Look what I got. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a 40 millimeter Summicron C Cine lens. And this is a little bit of an offshoot and I thought you might like to learn a little bit about something else that Leica does. Um, I'm sitting here with Reiner and I'm gonna not butcher your last name. Hopefully you can tell me so it's Reiner. It's Reiner Hacker. There you go. <laughs> Repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had the marvelous experience of uh, going through and learning how these beautiful lenses are made. And Leica started and really got into this uh, field back in when? Around 2006, 2008, they were already in the development. But to really get the lenses ready and have lenses on the market, we started shipping in more 2011. 2011. Now, there's a story behind these cinema lenses, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but was there a rental house or some studio somewhere that just said, oh, we know Dr. Kaufman, we can make a Leica lens? Yeah, there certainly is, because <clears throat> Leica lenses have been used many, many times already before in cinema productions. People used R lenses or rehoused R lenses, so the Leica class was always really most wanted. And a lot of people always said to Leica, why don't you do a proper scenic glass? And then <clears throat> there's a rental house, Otto Neyman's International, which is based out in LA. They, um, it's a very successful rental house, which has been a long time on the market. And they came with this approach to do, address it to Dr. Kaufmann and said, we really should do more about this and should do a proper lens and we have a lot of experience on the market we know what the market wants and together with your brilliant engineers and designers it should be a real fantastic story and that's how it started and that's what it still is a fantastic story it really is and you'll see a few a little bit of that but now in 2014 leica won an academy award for technical was it excellence yes with this lens or not this lens particular no, no. but you know, the cine lens. Uh, with the cine yeah. lenses. We got, the, we got that for the Summelux C lenses. It was a full series of the T1.4 called Summelux C. And there we got uh, very proudly the technical award. Now, these things, you, you have to visit the factory like we did. And you can take a look at what it takes to put these together. From the assembly of the blades in the aperture. And the aperture actually closes down completely closed. We said one, yes. And it's so round when it opens and uh, the, the way it blurs the background, it's something to behold. But it's the craftsmanship also. The scale, when they do the scale, it's so accurate. And it's a 270 degree. Or 270 it, degrees, yes. 270 degree turn rather than like 70 or 90, which all, some of the other lenses are. So the scaling on this is just absolutely phenomenal, and it's individual for each lens. Yes, for the Summilux series, that's correct. Because for the operator on set, which is the focus puller, also called AC, um, the first AC, a lot of them really rely on the numbers to see there. So this needs to be 100% accurate. There can't be no mistake in there. That's why um, it's very important for any lens manufacturer to have this completely on point. And it's, you, I can't describe the smoothness. Now the f-stops also are not clickable, as you can imagine. So they're marked on the scale in one-third increments. Yes. The mount is put together. Look at all the screws that hold this, this lens mount to uh, the lens, which then to the camera. And some of the lenses they make are extremely heavy. Um, yes, you need to have, this is the so-called PL mount, which um, needs to take a lot of pressure because you also have some larger lenses. But what you also have is when you have the lens, the focus is normally operated by small motors. Yep. And these motors have a very heavy torque because they have to run super fast from one end to the other. And so there's a lot of tension on the lens and the system because if you have problem with the backslash, you have massive problems. So this needs to be a system that doesn't move a thing. That's why the PL mount is super rugged, so you can also operate it in any kind of temperature because it's also big to change the lens. It doesn't lock, so you don't want to have a lock mechanism. You just turn it around and that's it. And that is very important um, for the business because the most important thing on a set is always time. And so if they have to change a lens on a set, if the, 
director of photography, once they use a different lens, they need to change the lens within five seconds. That's why it is important that the thing is also so smooth, so it slips in and out of the mount really easy. And it needs to be completely precise, because if you just go with a little bit away, your back focus is off and then you don't have any focus and it's not usable, and that's a huge damage. Now, we, we've watched and, and had the chance to see not only how the lenses were put together, but how they're tested. And you've got a projection room, and they got this very precise projector, and the lens gets mounted on it, and they measure the light coming out, and then it goes onto this screen, and you can walk up to the screen, and it is so tack sharp that you, you, you just can't believe what you're seeing, all the way to what we were looking sometimes at uh, 140 and 200 uh, lines. Oh, yes. Uh, just from corner to corner and center, it's just uh, incredible the resolution that this, this lens makes. Now, you're the sales director, and it's a small company. There's only, what, 41 people or 70? All together, we are around 50 people. Around 50 people making these lenses that are the finest lenses in cinematography today. And unlike cameras where we just buy them and put our own lenses, you don't really sell them to, this is not you're selling to photographers, you're selling primarily to rental houses and it's mainly rental houses um, sometimes some agencies or production companies but it's mainly rental houses you have to see that you you always use this in a set it's very rarely that somebody there are some specialists who could do a movie with just one lens but these are really individualists you don't have them so often um, normally you have a set the minimum set is normally six lenses but on big production you can also have 12 13 14 lenses um, because the you of don't cameras. move, you don't. You normally you don't move the camera. Yep. Um, you move, you you swap the lens yeah. to get your frame, and so you talk quite about a large investment as well. And therefore, that's why when you just mentioned the lens projector, that's also in every good rental house you find the lens projector as well. Because before a lens goes out, you check if all the parameters are right, if the lens is fine. And when the lens comes back from a shoot, the easiest way, I mean, of course, you look for outer damage and scratches and dust or dirt, but to see if the lens really had a strong hit or knock, you just put it on the projector, and if something is wrong with the lens, a, a good expert sees that within a second. Oh, so. I can imagine what the budget must be to you know, get a set of lenses, not to mention a camera, and then have multiple cameras. Anyway, I want to thank you very much, Reiner. We could probably talk all day about this. This is absolutely fascinating. These lenses are so well engineered, uh, you've got to see them to appreciate them. So if you ever stumble upon some place where you can look and hold them, and just the feel is so solid. I mean, it's just a beautiful lens. I want to thank you very much for the time. Thank for you as well for coming come by. In. You showed us some amazing things this afternoon, and it was very nice of you to open the doors for us. I appreciate it very much. It was a pleasure. Good Thanks luck. For coming I can't by. wait to come by when you have 200 employees and... You still have a back order of lenses. <laughs> Working on that. We will. Thank you very much. You're Bye -bye. welcome. And everybody, thank you. And I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.